Hey y'all, here's a vlog about Bad Girls Club Atlanta, um, season 10, episode 8, I believe this says. So, um, let's get to it. So, it starts off with Rocky and Jen, well, we had left off last week, with Rocky and Jen fighting because after they left the club, um, the girls were upset because, um, they said that Rocky and Shannon ordered a bottle and they didn't pay for it so when it was time to pay for it they couldn't pay for it so Valentina had to add her two donkey looked ass since and you know Jen of course because she doesn't like Rocky has to have a problem with her so as soon as they got in the house I don't know what the hell Rocky was on but as soon as they got in the house that chick got in the house, dropped her shoes, wherever she dropped them, and darted up the stairs like speedy freaking Gonzalez. So, I guess it looked like she darted upstairs to change her clothes to fight. So, when she got downstairs, her and Jen was fighting. Out of nowhere, here comes Valentina, horse-looking ass, jumping in the fight. So, you know, the producers came, and they said that they reviewed the tape. And they said after further reviewing, um... If Jennifer would have kicked um, Rocky like a couple of centimeters towards her eye, she would have blinded her. So they sent her home. So Jennifer left. And, you know, the girls were sad that she left. But Rocky, first of all, when Rocky and Jennifer fought, oh, my God. Rocky yanked that girl's whole weave off. Like, how the hell you do that? Jennifer, she must have had a quick weave in her hair, because ain't no way in hell, if your hair is sewn in, if your weave is sewn in, nice and tight, bitches could tug and pull all at once. It is not coming out. She must have had glue, because Rocky took all her tracks out of <laughs> her head. I w so all the girls are sad, because, you know, Jen went home, and they were saying how good of a friend she was. I mean, I'm going to miss Jen, too, but... She came in the house, a nice girl, but that liquor, when she got that liquor in her system, it was a whole nother story. So, I mean, I, I think it's best that she left. And then it's like she was letting everything that Rocky said and did, like, just get to her. And it's like sometimes you got to know how to walk away. And, I mean, Stephanie said this later on in the episode, but I'm going to bring it up now and I'm going to bring it up later. She was like, those who... Those who can, who like, who, who make you angry, they control you. So if you sit up here and you allow a person to make you angry, like they're going on about their lives and you the one still sitting here pissed, you pissed at them. So let that shit go. And I guess Jen, Jen took it to a whole nother level and that's why she left. So, um... Shannon, I think, questioned Valentina in the kitchen, like, why did you even get involved? She was like, yeah, I got involved. If I see somebody, um, she basically was just saying, like, if I see somebody getting jumped, I'm going to jump in, blah, blah, blah. And I'm sitting up there like, you know what, Valentina, you are just a complete bitch. Like, I like Valentina in the beginning, but Valentina, she put herself on this pedestal where she just thinks she is the complete and utter shit. And you're not. One of these girls, and I hope it's the new girl that's coming next week, one of these girls is going to fuck you up because you think that you can put your hands and talk, put your hands and talk to anybody any old kind of way. It ain't going to work like that. There's always somebody out there bigger and badder than you. I'm just saying. So, the next scene goes to the girls. Um, I think they were at the, was it the wet t-shirt contest? No, this was before the wet t-shirt contest. Derek J came up to them and he's like, he's having a um, hair show. Because, you know, Miss Derek J, you know, with his lovely, lovely heels. Oh, my God. The man wear heels better than me. And he's, man, he can do some hair. He can do some hair. So, he's having a hair show, which is, you know, that's what Atlanta is known for. Like, their hair and all of that. So, he's having a hair show, and he wants the girls to be in it. So, he, you know, he said that he'll, I guess, call them, keep in contact with them, and let them know all the details and everything, so that they can get ready to do it. So, then they go to a wet t-shirt contest, and the only ones that were in the contest was Rocky and Shannon. And, you know, Rocky, 
Rocky was doing her thing, shaking her ass at the camera, and Shannon just looked like she was having sex with herself. It was just weird seeing her, like, look sexy because Shannon is mad butch and manly. So, you know, it was kind of weird seeing her look like a girl because every time I look at Shannon, I see dude. I'm just saying, like, that girl is built like a dude. So, um, we get to Paula, Rocky, and Shannon. They're like, um, well, Paula wanted to speak to Rocky and basically tell Rocky that, yo, you need to have your own opinion instead of following behind Shannon. I mean, I get Shannon as your friend, but don't be going off of what Shannon says. And Shannon is like, well, I'm not putting anything in her head. She's seeing you guys for what you are or whatever. And Paula is like, well, I don't like you. You're fake as fuck. Um, I'm 26 and I can see right through you. And I'm sitting up here like... Like, the whole time Paula is going on her rampage, I'm sitting up here like, okay, Paula, you're 26 or whatever, and you can see right through her. I'm 25, and right now I'm seeing that you are picking on Shannon because she's quiet in the house. And it's, and that's what I've been that's what I'm kinda noticing with Paula. Even though Paula is my favorite, I do like Paula. But Paula got mad when Nikki left. Nikki was quiet. If Nikki was there or whatever, or if, or if Nikki if Nikki was there before she decided to leave, Paula would have probably went off for her like that. And then since Shannon was there, whatever Shannon did, she's going off on Shannon, all in Shannon's face, yelling in Shannon's face, whatever, whatever. Like, and it's just like ridiculous. Like all that yelling in somebody's face is not necessary because me. I wouldn't take too kind of you you yelling in my face like that. See, I would punch the shit out of you. But Shannon is mad, calm, cool, and collected. And Shannon is basically like, this whole episode, she's like, okay, I'm like a ticking time bomb. Like, it's only so much I can take. So you can keep insulting me. You can keep saying whatever, whatever. But when I blow up on your ass, don't get mad. You bought it on yourself. And I'm like, I feel you. So I'm just like, Paula, sit down. Sit down. You hopping around making all this noise for what? So then we get to um, Paula, Alicia, and Valentina, and they're all, I think they were all talking to um, Rocky, and you know, Rocky is basically like, I don't have any beef with you girls, but I just feel like when Jim was here, y'all were all on her side, now that she's not here, y'all want to kiss my ass, like, that's the only reason why I'm down with Shannon, because Shannon been down with me from day one, and I get that, and it's like, all of a sudden, now the girls don't have a problem with Rocky. But since day one, y'all was siding with Jen and y'all was on Janet. Y'all was siding with Jen. Y'all was on Jen's dick the whole time she was there. Now that she's not there, y'all want to be friends with her. That's so fake. Y'all some flip-flopping ass bitches. <sighs> Moving on. So we go to the scene where they're um preparing for the hair show. And, um... I didn't catch all the names that each girl had. All I caught was um, Strawberry Shortcake, Nigerian Nightmare, and Hell on Hills. I mean, if you guys know the rest, feel free to comment. But I don't remember. I don't know the other three. But I know Paula got the most cheers. Valentina's hairstyle, I'm sorry, her hairstyle looked like a freaking Wells penis. Like, she had the two little braided puff thingies on the side here and this long ass like tall ass like thing of hair that hung she just looks stupid I didn't I hated her hairstyle but I was laughing because I'm like you yeah you're a dickhead so hence you got the yeah so I felt so bad for Shannon when she got on the stage <laughs> because they the crowd barely clapped for her like it was crickets chirping I I ain't gonna lie, I laughed. I had to. That was a funny ass scene. So, um, Paula won the competition. She won the hair show. And earlier on, Derek J asked Rocky and Stephanie if they would do like a um a modeling shoot for I guess I guess his salon or his hair show. I don't remember what it was, but they did a modeling shoot. So, um he put like these like long tracks in their hair. They look nice. They look like actual models. Like they looked really, really, like really, really nice. Like ladies. They didn't look, you know, rough and rugged. I mean, Stephanie and Rocky, they don't look rough and rugged, but it's like, first of all, Stephanie is mad skinny. 
And sometimes when she walk around the house, she look like somebody grandmother. And Rocky is just all over the place. Like Rocky is like a child to me. But anyway, they look nice in their picture. So um, Shannon is in the pool giving herself a pep talk. Like Shannon, just remember you have stamina. You got the one hit a quitter. If a bitch step to you. You are strong, you are this, you are that. And I'm like, oh shit, she must know there's something about to go down. Because she is in the pool, getting it in with her... What do, what do people do in the pool? I mean, well, they swim, duh. But, um, like the exercises. I don't know the exercises. But she was in the pool, getting her float on, her swim on. You know, just doing her, I guess, cardio. Like, getting that in. And I'm like, oh these girls is in for a rude awakening so um we get to wait sorry notes so then we get to um Valentina on the phone and Rocky's friend call and her friend is like yeah hi is Rocky there and Valentina's like no she doesn't live here and hung up on her so, the friend calls back, like, hours later, and Rocky is speaking to her. And the friend is like, yeah, one of them bitches is being rude. Like, she sounded black on the phone or whatever, whatever. So, Valentina basically opened and, openly admitted that she hung up on the friend. And she's like, yeah, your friend's call here, and they're mad rude. And I'm sitting up here like, you just want to start shit. Like, that's all you want to do. Because when that girl called, she wasn't rude. She asked for Rocky, asked if she was there. You were rude, said Rocky don't live there anymore, and hung up in her ear. Lying ass, horse face looking ass bitch. I hate Valentina. You know. So now Stephanie is on the phone with Dre and I guess she's horny or whatever so she called him over. They have sex and basically when they spoke again they basically established that they in a relationship. I don't know about y'all, but I am all the way confused because when Stephanie first walked in the house, she was, you know, bragging and gloating about how she's a lesbian. Now all of a sudden she likes dudes. That's not a lesbian. And not a lot of lesbians I know go back to guys. Like, they strictly girls. But Stephanie might as well just say she's bisexual. Especially if her and Drea are in a relationship. But I digress. So, um, the next scene is when they were outside. They were playing, like, some alphabet game or whatever. And, you know, I think Alicia went to, um... Paula and was like, you want to come and play the game with us? And Paula is sitting there being her Debbie down herself. It's like, I don't want to play no game with Shannon because Shannon over there and Shannon, 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 Shannon. And I'm like, oh my God, get over it. Like, just play the damn game. Shannon ain't thinking about you. You ain't got to think about Shannon. Just get over it. Like, Paula pissed me off this episode. And I love Paula. I'm just so disappointed in her this episode. So, finally, um, something happened where, um, I believe Paula, was it Paula and Stephanie? I think they went to bed early, and I guess the girls were making noise. So, Paula got mad, and basically she directed all of her anger towards Shannon. Even though Shannon wasn't the only one there that was making noise, she directed all of her anger towards Shannon. So, Shannon was basically like, I've had enough. She's like... I don't know what Shannon said, but I'ma just say how I think Shannon said. Shannon was basically like, what you said and how you had said it, so why don't you say it, the, say it right the next time, and then maybe what you said will make sense. I know she ain't say that, but that's how I took it. I mean, I got what she said. I got what she meant, because she went in. And I'm like, Paula is just, Paula just wanted to find a reason to scream at Shannon. That's all it was. She just wanted to find a reason to scream at the girl. So... Next thing you know, Shannon says something to Paula. Paula punches the girl in the face. They start fighting. It wasn't even a fight. Paula was hitting her on the head, but she didn't really do nothing because Shannon was still talking junk afterwards. So, you know, everybody was basically disappointed in Paula and happy that Shannon found her voice and actually said something. And Stephanie told her, like, it's, like it was said earlier, the one who angers you controls you. And... That's the problem with a lot of these girls in this house. Y'all sit up here and y'all let these chicks 
get under your skin, get under your skin, get under your skin. They thrive off of that. So you thinking that you by you getting angry and by you punching them or whatever, that's going to stop it. No. They thrive off that shit. The best way to, like, you know, deal with a person like that, ignore them. People hate being ignored. But people love attention. You got to keep that in mind. So that's how the episode ended. Um... When I saw the first look, the first 15 minutes, um, it looks like Shannon gets an apology from Paula. They, you know, basically call truce, leave it alone, and they focus on Alicia's birthday. So, I mean, that's what's going to happen next week. So, I'll be here to vlog about it. Um, I still have some vlogs to do. I know I'm supposed to do Real Husbands of Hollywood. I have not been watching it. Um, but I need to catch up. I've been catching up on, um, I don't know if they're going to continue, like, the whole season of Starter Wives on the TLC website, but I've been, I watched the, um, past couple of episodes, and I am definitely going to vlog about that tomorrow. If I get some downtime, I'm going to try and vlog about that, because we need to talk. We have to talk, but that's my review, um... Like, comment, subscribe, whatever, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.